Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm diving deep into IBM Maximo, uh, a powerful asset management solution that has been making waves, especially in enterprise circles. I have spent some time testing and exploring its features, and in this video, I'll break down everything you need to know from its interface and capabilities to pricing, integrations, and whether it is worth your time or money. Um, let's get into it. So what exactly is IBM Maximo? Uh, IBM Maximo is an enterprise asset management EM platform. Okay, enterprise asset management platform. Uh, it is designed to help organizations track, manage, and optimize their physical assets. Uh, you know, think about you know buildings, vehicles, machinery, IT equipment across the entire life cycle. This isn't your basic asset tracker. Maximo digs deep into maintenance, inventory, procurement, work order management, and predictive maintenance using IoT, that is in Internet of Things, and AI technologies. It is particularly useful for industries like uh, manufacturing, energy, utilities, oil and gas, and transportation you know, basically set us where operational uptime is um, is everything uh, in terms of audience this software is definitely geared toward professionals and enterprises not beginners or small businesses so you need to uh, have that in mind uh, if you're managing a large scale operation with thousands of assets uh, this might be the kind of you know, system um, you need okay and um, as for the you know the user interface of ibm uh, maximo um, you know the maximum's user interface has improved uh, significantly uh, has improved significantly over the years especially with maximum application suit like um, mes it now supports a cleaner, more modern interface compared to its older versions, and the dashboard is uh, customizable, which I personally appreciate. So let's talk about the features and capabilities. Uh, here's where Maximo really shines. Some of the standard features include asset lifecycle management, preventive and predictive maintenance, uh, work order creation and tracking, inventory and procurement management, AI driven insights using IBM's uh, Watson, IoT and CISO integration for real time monitoring, then the mobile assets for field technicians. So, what really impressed me is how robust and scalable the system is. We can manage millions of assets across multiple sites, estimating full visibility and control. Compared to alternatives like Info, EAM or SAP PM, Mazimo stands out with its AI and IoT integration, but it can also be more complex to implement and um, maintain. Okay, uh, if you look at the features, you will see some of the uh, features that I've already men mentioned enterprise system management, asset performance management, asset invest, investment planning. Okay. Uh, renewables, asset performance management, IT, asset management, real estate and facilities manage, uh, management. So, a lot of them. Then, the, the use cases, you know, include asset inspection, field service management, maintenance management, MRO, inventory optimization, reliability, and center maintenance, then uh, sustainability, then uh, you know, industries like energy and utilities, oil and gas, travel and transportation, you know, government, manufacturing, you know, these are industries that uh, can make use of um, or make use of uh, IBM and Maximo. Okay, now uh, let's talk about the performance and reliability. In terms of performance, Maximo is generally fast and responsive, especially when hosted in IBM cloud or hybrid environment. During my test runs, uh, I didn't experience any crashes or serious bugs. Uh, however, depending on your infrastructure and setup, initial implementation and data migration can be heavy. 
Maximo is enterprise grade, so it scales well, but also requires enterprise grade resources. Okay, that is it for the performance and reliability. And then when it comes to the integration and compatibility, IBM Maximo plays well with all this, as long as you know how to connect the dots. Uh, it offers a robust REST API for integrations. Uh, it works across Windows, Mac OS, uh, that is through the web. Uh, it works on um, Android and iOS through its mobile apps. Uh, you can integrate it with ERP systems like SAP, Oracle, and even third party uh, IoT platforms. If your IT team is strong, integration shouldn't be a problem. But for smaller teams, you might need a consultant to get everything wired up properly. Uh, now, for pricing and implants, um, this is where um, um, now when it comes to uh, the pricing, uh, pricing is typically based on a subscription model and varies depending on the models you need, number of users, deployment type, cloud uh, versus on prime, and um, support levels. IBM doesn't list a set price and publicly, uh, but you can expect enterprise level costs. There is no free version, and this definitely isn't something you casually pick up to test. But for large organizations, it can save millions in assets, downtime, repairs, and compliance fine. So the ROI is there if used um, correctly. Now, uh, let's talk about support and community. IBM offers solid support, including live assistance, knowledge base, and detailed documentation. There are also certified training courses and partner programs to help you or your team get up to speed. The user community is active, especially on IBM forums and LinkedIn groups. But again, uh, it links heavily toward enterprise professionals and certified um, you know, consultants. So uh, if you come to resources, uh, you get to see, you know, the, you can easily assess in the training, the support, the community from the resources uh, menu. And also, uh, now let's, let's talk about security. Security is a priority with Maximo, especially in its cloud deployment. It supports road-based access control, audit trails, data encryption in transit and at rest, compliance with standards like ISO, NIST, and others. You can trust the platform to manage sensitive operational data um, securely. Now, the advantages of Maximum include one, um, it is enterprise grade asset management, um, ER and IoT integration for smart maintenance, uh, it is scalable and highly customizable. It is mobile friendly for field workers and also has a solid API and integration and integration options. Okay. Now for the disadvantages is the number one. Uh, it has a steep learning curve. You know, uh, it's expensive and complex to implement. Uh, it is not ideal for small businesses. It requires training or expert uh, support. So, on a final note, uh, should you use IBM Maximum? Should you, should you go for it? If you are running a large organization with complex asset needs, Maximo is the best. The features, scalability, and intelligence it offers are hard to beat. But and this is a big one. You need to be ready to invest in training, implementation, and long-term management. So it is not for small businesses or solo operators, but for enterprise operations, Maximo can absolutely transform how you manage and maintain your physical infrastructure. Uh, alternatives worth checking out include SAP EAM, Info EAM, or Upkeep for mid-sized operations, but if you've got the scale and budget, Maximo is a serious contender. Uh, 
that is my full review of IBM Maximo. Let me know in the comments uh, if you've used it before or if you're thinking of trying it out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss my uh, next software deep dive. Thanks for watching.